The Internet of Things, or IoT, is a system of connected devices, computers, and digital machines with unique identifiers that transfer data over a network. Smartphones, laptops, wearables, sensors, they're all part of the Internet of Things as long as they're connected and sharing data. Beyond that, IoT also includes a person with a heart monitor implant, a farm animal with a chip transponder, or a car alerting a driver to low tire pressure. In a business sense, IoT supports smarter working with more control. Across industries, IoT enables process automation, analysis and insight, labor reduction, and performance monitoring. For example, airlines use IoT sensors for real-time data reporting on airplane engine status and equipment conditions. Theme parks even use IoT to track visitor movement for insight into popular attractions and traffic flow. This can help the park better address bottlenecks, long lines, and even waste management. Businesses are increasingly adopting IoT to improve efficiency, customer service, and decision making. But all these connected devices are not without potential issues. As the number of connected devices and shared information increases, so do security and privacy concerns. Also, any bugs in a single device can potentially affect an entire IoT system. In addition, and this is true especially for an enterprise, these connected devices produce a ton of data, which can be difficult to collect and manage, let alone glean business insight from. Finally, competing IoT standards can create headaches in terms of getting different devices from different manufacturers to communicate with one another. Still, companies will have to address these challenges because the IoT market is booming and experts predict IoT adoption and spending will grow exponentially over the next few years. So again, guys, the whole main thing or why I'm showing you all this is you're literally having all the dots connected from every particular angle. You see the confirmed partnerships. You see um, this whole outline from JB. Um, there's, a, again, just a little bit more, some of the good stuff, right? And that is this. I showed you a long time ago. I mean, if for some people who are paying attention to this, you remember this. So one of my first Jasmine videos, um, I did show a video in regards to SF Twin. So it says, similar to War XS, this product offers a virtual test site to reproduce factory factory slash industrial setting and training of robotic products. On April 18th, 2023, they announced a new edition and product site launch. So I'm going to show you guys this one first. And you might remember some of this stuff. Um, let, me go, let me go into it. So, yeah, digital twin solution using virtual space technology. Again, all this is connected to WITS. And again, what's connected, you know, to from WITS is, you know, Jasmine, the Jasmine and WITS partnerships. That's one of the key things. Um, here's an example of the digital twin, right? And um, it says you can program without the actual machine you can basically check it by simulation um you know i think i showed you yeah this arm i showed in a video for you guys i'll show you guys again yeah here it is so if you saw that recorded video i did a while back it gives you a demo and one of the key things was in this demo and i'll just show it just for a brief bit they show you um this right here i'll fast forward to it notice he's using like for instance a playstation controller um, anyway, I showed you guys this in a particular deep dive recorded video, right? Anyway, cool stuff. So there's that. Um, and then when we go further down, right, it mentions some of these other key things, right? Importing equipment objects, STP data. You can reproduce the lines in your factory by installing multiple collaborative robots. It's possible to check mutual in interference during this simultaneous operation. But again, one of the key things is this partnership of WITS with Jasmine, for instance, is pretty big because, um, you know, it's like Internet of Things. Perfect example. Internet of Things, right? This is, there you, there you have it. I mean, anything and everything, right? Um, all right, so we're going to play this other one. This is the SF Twin Cobot, or Cobbit, I should say. And on this particular one, I don't think it's super long. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's only about two, a little under three minutes. So we're going to play this. Smash that like if you haven't done so already. This is some extended coverage in regards to uh, this deep dive for Jasmine, right? A lot of big things going on for Jasmine that people don't realize. Here we go.
All right. So, you know, he mentions this whole thing of the site launch on the tw uh, on April 18th. Um, so we're going to pull that up as well from SF Twin. And yeah, that thing I just showed it, right? The SF Twin Cobot that was released. Now they got this. It says SF Twin Cobot released. It's new. It's offline teaching software released in collaboration with um, Robot Jaka. I click on that for just a brief moment. And give me a second. I was going to see if there's a new video in regards to that. Yeah, so there's our tutorials. I'm not going to play all this stuff again because it's just a reiteration of what you saw. But um, I don't know. It's just cool to see that how all this is, you know, a great partnership with, uh, you know, Wits um, or Wits with Jasmine, basically. They may have offline teaching, right? Programming is a perform, uh, is perform, I should say, on a PC using a virtual robot and a genuine teaching application from the collaborative uh, robot manufacturer. Uh, they use genuine teaching app from their robot manufacturer, real-time monitoring. You can log all this stuff. Cool stuff. I'm not going to play any more of these particular videos, but anyway, it just launched literally yesterday. That's pretty cool stuff. Um, all right. Jumping back to what we have. Um, so, again, a little bit of a reiteration of SF Twin. If you're wondering about it, again, virtual simulation supports Jocker robotic devices, which are used by manufacturing leaders. Uh, they have recent uh, plans to support standard robotics to explain potential clients. Um, for example, Tesla. Let's pull it up for a second. Let's lo load this up. And let's jump down. Right, here's some examples. So let's take a moment to look at this. All right, self-sustaining running EMR, maximum stop position, right? All sorts of stuff, right? The Internet of Things, AI, you name it, right? So this uh, was the last update, March tw uh, 12th, right? Uh, demonstration of the new model of standard robot. Uh, there's case studies, all this stuff. I mean, if you're really into this, right? So I thought I'd show you guys that. And I'm going to jump back. Um, all right. So his thoughts in regards to SF Twin and why it matters, right? He says, this service is useful for the following reasons. It allows for facility planning as manufacturing companies heavily rely on this to s simulate increased efficiencies in production. Basically speaking, it allows for cheaper uh, training of these devices since they are just that, virtual. All right. Um, like he says, that covers the products. Now you like to mention that Wits does offer more services, which he will briefly speak about, and some he won't as he wants to keep pertaining this to Jasmine and the potential future participation. Here's a screenshot of recent Wits quarterly report for progress in the fiscal year ending in 2023. And this is good, really, really good uh, information, right? Again, you appreciate somebody like this. I mean, I think he's this guy's gonna be a rising star, in my opinion, on uh, Twitter. I mean, for him to, I don't know how long he's been on Twitter, but I, I imagine not too long. Uh, but this guy's gonna blast off, in my opinion. I mean, he really takes the time to to bring it. So, um, yeah, let's look what it says here. So, you know, uh, he wants to mention that Wits does does offer more services, which briefly speak about, um, and some he won't. Um, and how this pertains to Jasmine and their potential future, right? All right, so here's the fiscal progress. And let me just give some of the key highlights. So I like this, right? He, he highlights, or circles, I should say, you know, like it says, you know, service design business, SVBA, which means service design business um, area, crypto asset business, NFT develops content sales platform. Again, the reason why he's highlighting all this is to the Jasmine connection. Uh, how this new businesses, Tizzlewit, right, with Wits, uh, Web3 Anomaly um, is being misunderstood and inquires, or queries, excuse me, are increasing. On top of that, proactive investment, digital twin, SF twin, you know, we showed you the particular example uh, in that video. A virtual space simulator with War XS, uh, mass entertainment, uh, as an MAAS, right? Um, Acquiring patents, obtaining rights to related as 
you know, the characteristics, business model patents. And how about this last part? Obtain two competitive uh, funds, conducting research on basic technologies that will improve the quality of life with the main theme of symbiosis and coexistence with AI. Right? That's pretty cool stuff. Um, and let's see, we're going to go here. Um, what about with partners, right? So it says one partner is Albert Inc., whose service closely aligns with Wits's products. Let's try to see if we can pull that up for a second. Just jump out of some of these particular ones. All right. So here's this one, Albert Inc. They have uh, this right here. They're going to introduce in detail the technical areas and research content that Albert is working on. Let me see where I'm at on the frame. All right. As we go further down, it says neural network and 3D construction, right? But everything that's mentioned here has everything to do with Internet of Things. Um, it says, for instance, uh, in the field of computer vision, various methods are being researched to understand the surrounding environment, right? Sensors, again, back to that one video of the or the picture of the guy with the bus, object tracking, scene understanding and representation learning. Again, robotics, right? Uh, learning, you know, the behaviors within, the, you know, so on. Like, look at what it says here. With the development of AI, the fields where uh, robotics are active and expanding, right? I don't know. Maybe you guys are getting burnt out with some of this stuff. But my key thing is it just pounds it home that much more in regards to this whole thing with Jasmine. Um, I'm going to jump back to this. Hold on a second. I'm going to come back in the frame. I didn't even realize I was out of the frame. Um so give me just a second how about the ai division because you know what the whole thing with jasmine and ai is going to be really huge coming up here soon i mean this could be very well a taste of uh what's to come so there's this and again this is a little bit more from wits but for you know the whole thing with ai <clears throat> so it says have you ever wondered if this is a re uh really enough ai learning data um, the answer basically is no. I mean, it's never enough. Um, but again, you, you got to keep in mind, this is from the WITS site. They mentioned Jasmine numerous times. I don't know, man. I just think there's something really big here, personally. Um, it says, let's take measures now so that business opportunity loss and development rework do not occur after it's legalized. And again, think about what's mentioned after it's legalized. I mean, is this the path forward of where they're going? Could very well be. Um, hold on. They, they understand some of the, the challenges of AI, um, the safety challenges of AI. Uh, you got some of the people that, you know, gives you an explanation of like who they, these people are, part of the staff, right? Toshi, uh, Hisa, Morikawa, uh, executive officer, officer of, of WITS. Um, this guy's been around you know, it was say for about 15 years since 2006, he'd been focused on, on functional safety in April 2010. Uh, he was there the first in Japan to obtain some of these licenses or certifications. I don't know, some, some pretty interesting things, at least I think so. Um, you have all this stuff about, you know, AI system development. I mean, there's a lot here, basically speaking. And, you know, you got all these examples, right? So earlier today, I did that video on um, on uh, DMTR, right? And you have, the you know, you have drones for agriculture and so on. Like, here's another perfect example of some of the robotics used in just that, agriculture, right? Two different projects, but I don't know, the point is there's a lot that they're going to be doing. And I think the, the reason why we want to put so much focus on this is this WIS partnership, when I said before, don't dismiss the WITS partnership for Jasmine. This is a huge partnership because this is the path forward for Toyota, for instance. And some people are saying, well, there's nothing really solid with Toyota. Yes, there is. We already had confirmation. We did a deep dive. When it comes to Jasmine, you got to understand that WITS is a subsidiary of Toyota, even I think also Panasonic, if I'm not mistaken, right? So they got a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, seeing the official announcements like you saw earlier, um, and maybe I could try to bring that up again just in case some people didn't see it. But um, 
like that commercial with Jasmine and Wiss. I mean, that was amazing. So Thomas driving an AI system safety standard compliance support tool. I mean, these kind of whole outline of everything they're doing, and you could just like double check all this stuff. Not just, for instance, in Japan, but Europe, internationally speaking, U.S., other countries. You got to keep in mind. I mean, if this is a subsidiary of Toyota, we, you know, come on, guys. Like, there's plenty of Toyota vehicles here in the United States. All right. Um, anyway, thought I'd show you guys that. Let me jump back into this for just a, another brief moment. Uh, they have this whole thing about the driving consortium. I'm not going to get into that particular part, uh, area, um, but I do want to jump into the WITS partners. So this point right here, so the WITS partners, two, two, two subsidiary of WITS supports their parents and companies' directions and growth. Imaginary Inc., which mentions Jasmine and potential future services. Okay. You guys want some of the stuff that's not so speculative, or I shouldn't say any of this is speculative, but you want to see where it says Jasmine specifically? We'll open that up. So as we do so, we get into this. I'm going to give just a brief moment for it to interpret it. And um, this is cool stuff. I did see this earlier. So it says, we are imaginary motivation. That right there looks kind of funky. Right, they could look like something almost like from a horror show, or I don't know, possibly Star Wars too. At the same time, no, that's not horror. But it says we are an ideal information technology company founded with passion by a group of people who love technology, with technology that is half a step ahead of us, and with a generous spirit to realize innovation through people's rich imagination. All right, they provide premium quality products and services. They will quickly sell excellent products that have application value in social life to support the Japanese economy. They will continue to actively promote safety, security, and productivity. They will continue to maintain a maintenance and operation system that allows the products and services uh, that they provide to be safely and, to, you know, it's, again, the interpretation, but safe and secure, right? So, Look what's mentioned here, SF Twin, again, some of the, the WITS ones, right? War X, that's all part of, you know, WITS, right? Um, let's get down to some of those particular areas. Um, I do believe, like the guy said he mentions Jasmine. I don't know if it's on this particular page. I did review this earlier, but um, give me a second. My bad. Here it is. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so it says their service, right? Kowali Assurance Service Digital Twin, like I showed you earlier. All right, so this is the main point I want to show you real quick. I'm going to blow this up just a tad. I know some of you guys see it on the screen, but maybe you don't. I'm just going to blow it up a little bit more. Um, yeah, smart authentication. There you go. Boom. Jasmine connection literally says it plain as day. Uh, we provide Jasmine IoT platform using blockchain technology. I'm telling you flat out, I mean, are, do you, I'm not trying to toot my horn too much here, but I'm telling you flat out, like, it took a, Took a while to kind of pull some of the stuff up. I mean, he has it on the outline that helps, but man, some of these guys, I mean, like they'll do a video and um, not him, but you know, it's just people in general. And like, you know, when people get the video about Jasmine, it's just like I get where uh, a little bit about where like some of the footers are coming from because you know, it's just like they, they want more of the confirmation. Boom, there's a little bit more of that confirmation for it. You know, they provide Jasmine, it says it's plain as day. Internet of Things, IoT platform for using blockchain technology. So there's that. Sorry, just sometimes when it reloads with the interpretation, kind of chops it off sometimes. Um, all right, so I'm going to jump into the other part that we have. I'll show this tab instead. All right, so how about this? All right, this is point 17 of 21. All right, so let's jump back into this. And it says WITS, you know, they're working with Marubini Information Systems Corporation. We won't jump into that particular part, but it says what is SOBOM? And this part's good. It says SBOM standard aligns with Jasmine or aligns well with Jasmine blockchain technology and IoT solution for proof of anonymous ownership of device software. And I love that, you know, what he does here. He highlights all the good stuff. So what is an SBOM, right? You guys don't know about this. And, you know, some of it I don't even know about. An SBOM is formal and machine-readable metadata 
that uniquely identifies a software package and its contents. It may include some other information about its contents, including copyrights and licensed data. SBOMs are designed to be shared across organizations and are particularly helpful at providing transparency of components delivered by participants in a software supply chain. Many organizations concerned about software security are making SBOMs a cornerstone of their cybersecurity strategy. All right, that's cool stuff. Um, on top of that, says his overall thoughts. He says, that's it. Let me briefly recap. Wits and Jasmine says we covered all the above, and we did. He believes that Wits empowers Jasmine to demonstrate not only their technologies through these um, POCs, but the concept of data democracy they are trying to achieve on top of mass. And I would fully 100% agree with him on that. Um, he says, on top of that, he says, obviously they are still in early stages, but Jasmine services are the core for two of Wits's products. For instance, tis a wit that we covered earlier with Sean and X SXIM and their aligned synergy for mass. In addition, once the Jasmine Internet of Things devices are proven, there is room to expand to War XS and even SF Twin. And that is really a really a big deal because you want to see that happen. And on top of that, um, again, it's just a perfect example of utility being used. I mean, literally physical utility. All right. On top of this, he says his overall thoughts. No wonder why Wits is a key, a Jasmine partner. And I would agree with him on that as well. We have to wait and see how they grow their products. But remember, Jasmine's a service um, the company chose to adopt to expand their own product. This means a lot to Jasmine's utility. Give me just a second. This right here says, remember, Jasmine as a service, a company chose to adopt to expand their own product. And on top of that, um, this means a lot to Jasmine's utility and potential future clients. Um, of course, you know, he wants to thank everybody. And you know what? I look forward to his part five. I don't know if I do as, as deep of a dive into that. Um, but, you know, uh, I definitely want to say I appreciate this guy. If he happens to watch the chopped up video at some point, uh, shout out to you, man. You're really doing a good job. Follow him at boyddog7. His name is JB. And um, I'm going to go ahead and basically retweet his content right now. Um, I meant it earlier. So I like that. And let's go ahead and retweet that. That was one of the best deep dives, in my opinion, especially if somebody that stuck around this late to go through it all. Um, but later on, for anybody who wants the more condensed version, we'll definitely get that out to you guys. I am going to jump into the comments because I definitely need to do so. And I really appreciate everybody who's here tonight for this deep dive in regards to Jasmine. Man, I'm just... Every single time I think, well, man, I guess that's it for Jasmine for, you know, a while. You know, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for more content, more partnerships and confirmation. Oh, my gosh. For all the criticism that they got for last year for not having a good roadmap, this roadmap for this year moving on, oh, they knocked it out of the park as far as I'm concerned. That risk to reward ratio for Jasmine is looking really, really good. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, do yourself a favor and subscribe for more information on the ISO 222 compliant tokens and hit the notification bell to make sure that you are aware of the new videos when they come up. Max and I cover these ISOs and we also have a live show every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for that. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again and we will see you on the next video.